Well, are you ready to meet NBC's Biggest Loser? He was a good old boy from Mississippi with a beautiful wife, two beautiful boys, but he weighed almost a ton, literally. Patrick House played college football but kept on packing on the pounds even after his days on the field were over. Well, he is here to tell us how this former athlete went from huge to hunk. Anybody can do what I've done. You don't, there's no secret formula. There's no magic tricks. There's no smoke and mirrors. Weight loss is simple. It's calories in versus calories out. If you eat more calories than you burn off, you're going to gain weight. On the other hand, if you burn more calories than you eat, you'll lose weight. Meet Patrick House, NBC's biggest loser for season 10. Before he got to the ranch, he weighed twice the amount of an average man. He credits moving more and eating less helped him lose 220 pounds in just six months. He considers this a wake-up call and realized he had to start turning some of his attention on himself. People have the mentality of, well, I'm, I'm already 350 pounds, what's 370? Well, I'm already 375, what's 400? And so when you, when you start doing that, you know, it's, it's like a snowball effect where you, you, you kind of give up hope and you don't care anymore. His weight gain seemed gradual since he was taken off the football field as a sophomore in college, but he didn't think he had any health problems until he met with the official doctor on The Biggest Loser show, and they found plenty. I had high blood pressure, I had high cholesterol, I had obstructive sleep apnea, I was pre-diabetic, I had plaque built up in my carotid artery in my neck, and when they did the, the scan of my veins and arteries, I had the arteries in the interior makeup of a 60-year-old man at 28 years old. Patrick was ready for the fight of his life. He didn't want his sons, Colton and Caden, to follow in his footsteps. I'm, I'm the classic put everybody else before you kind of person. Um, I would go to bed at night, do, having done everything I could for everybody else, and then lay myself down at 400 pounds in my own bed, not taking care of myself. And so he hit the gym with his trainers, Bob and Jillian, at his side. Patrick's weight loss journey on Biggest Loser was filled with a tough daily regimen at the gym and he ate under 1,000 calories a day. He was determined to win. This major life change helped him lose an amazing 100 pounds in just seven weeks. Hitting that first, that first 100 pound mark, it was like throwing gasoline on the fire. It just, it drove me to keep going and go harder and harder and harder. So Patrick lost almost 100 pounds in just seven weeks. That's completely amazing. But when we come back, you'll see how he almost didn't make it and how he battled through the bad times. Stay close. All right, everybody, so let's put some oomph in our workout. I brought Tom Montgomery here from Super Fitness. Tom, we need to work on those abs. What are yes, we there? are. We're going to start something very basic. We're just going to come back, lay flat on the back. We're going to do some abdominal curls. I love these. Yep, a lot of people complain that this one really hurts their neck. So what we're gonna do is just support the weight of the head and then come up, shoulder blades off the ground and right back down. That one hits more the upper abdominals. Yeah. We're gonna do one for the lower abdominals. All we're gonna do is lift the feet, support with the, with the hands on the side and just bring the legs back. So we're gonna keep the knees bent. So we wanna protect the low back and we're gonna come back. So and I leave sort my head of, on sort of a, Yep. So your head is supported, your neck is supported, your back is supported. So this is sort of like a partial leg lift. If that doesn't get to sweating, I don't know what will. 